Got here in the, the New Sentinel newsroom to, to talk about Mike Strange's column in, in tomorrow's paper on uh, the state of uh, men's and women's track and field and cross country at the, the University of Tennessee. I'm Brendan Quinn. Mike, tell me a little bit about J.J. Clark doesn't talk very much about the program, doesn't, isn't really out in the public too much, a lot of media availability or anything like that, but you spoke to him today. What was kind of big picture topics? What would you guys go over? Well, it's been uh, four years now that they've had a combined, since they combined the men's and women's program and uh, under J.J.'s direction, and the uh, the men, frankly, have, uh, I think, languished is the word I use, and that's putting it mildly. They've uh, pretty much fallen off the map in the SEC and, and uh, not, uh, I think they scored 8.75 points in four combined years at the NCAA out at the NCAA outdoor meet. So I uh, tried to get to JJ to talk about uh, what's why it's been more difficult than anyone expected for the men's program to get back on their feet. And uh, he, he, didn't, he didn't want to go into particular detail. Uh, just said when he came in, it was a clean sweep, had to start over, and it's just taken a while to uh, get everybody on board, coaches in place, athletes, to, the right athletes understanding uh, what's tolerated, what's not tolerated. So anyway, he feels like they're they're ready to come out of this wilderness next year and and uh, start the road. We're back. there covering the team on the road with the team. I guess for a lot of the there's the the highlights of the program, some of the NCAA meets back in the day and whatnot. Boise, Eugene, Austin, New Orleans, great trips. Yeah, I bet. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, what what is it that was going on then? That's not happening now in terms of the. The program itself, obviously, other than success. Well, the 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 men were always good. They were perennial SEC contenders. They were a top five national team. But when they com- combined the men's and women's program, it was just a really tough chemistry. There was friction, kind of turf battles had been hmm. uh, between the two programs. And, and in fairness to JJ, the decline actually had started the year before he took over. Bill Webb's last year, the recruiting wasn't as good, so they had dipped off that last year. And then when JJ took over. Uh, it was just uh, kind of an oil and water situation between the men and women, uh, having the women's coach come in and and take over the men's program, and it's and it's uh, they've recruited uh, occasionally, you know, some they still get some really top-notch athletes here and there, but just not the depth to uh, to to be the contender that they were. So then, if there was all that friction, what's been the status of the women's program since the combination and why have they had a little bit more sustained success well the, the women were the women had some uh, had some pretty good talent across the board uh, they remained competitive until just this past year uh, they, they had several seniors they lost and, and didn't have any replacements in the wings waiting for them so the women were really off the map this year too so right now you got both that are just uh, barely have a pulse and and uh, Need some new recruits. They they they've got some new recruits coming in. We don't know a whole lot about them, or if it's enough to uh, bring this program back. But there there are a lot of good. You know, most of the athletes that that do score whatever they score at SEC meets are freshmen, sophomores. So there's some potential for development. So it's it's I can see it's going to get better, but will it get much better? How long is it going to take? And what you know. In terms of when is it going to take is definitely the, the million dollar question, yeah. especially with with JJ Clark and yeah. you know a large contract and a program that has the facilities, everything you could possibly yeah. ask for. Where are the alumni at? Where are the the donors at? Where are the fans at? In terms of satisfaction. Well, levels? The, the 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 alumni from the men's program, a lot of them have been pretty outspoken that they're not pleased with what's happened to the program. Uh, Dave Hart says he has confidence in JJ, or JJ wouldn't still be the coach. You. you you know, with a non-revenue sport that doesn't have a stadium to fill, there's a longer leash. You know, you can get a longer time frame. If they'd had this kind of results in football for four years, they would have changed coaches. Mm-hmm. But, but, but track's different, and 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 I guess we'll see. JJ obviously has this coming year. He's got two new coaches coming in on the staff, so we'll see what happens this year if it's uh, enough to meet Dave Hart's standard of comprehensive excellence. Mm-hmm. And maybe get you a trip back to Boise. Yeah. All right, fair enough. All right, for for Mike Strange, I'm Brendan Quinn from the, the Knoxville News Sentinel newsroom. Thanks for joining us.